トンバルIs that the only thing in this room? Just a single ample? Only interact with the bed? Nope. Just a single ample. Nice avatar. It looks great. Thank you. It's more at our own pace now, which is great. That's good. I'm glad that you guys aren't rushing. But at the same time, I hope that you guys aren't doing it forever, because that seems like that would be annoying too. Again, bad staff. I don't think they do a lot of healing in this hospital. Yeah, this healing, this, this hospital, is not a place I would go to if I was looking to be healed or cured. The organization has me shut up in here. 
they mean to break my will to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. The thing has no meaning. There's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. There's a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used probably used glue, but why do why do this in the first place? There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can't even pull it off. Can we interact with any of this over here? No. Okay, so we know we gotta come back here in order to get that key. Hmm, key. Free food. I I don't I don't think we should be eating much of anything that we find in Silent Hill. Even even the uh this button, the elevator doesn't seem to respond. Even the beef jerky that we've been finding. Beef jerky we've been finding, we're not supposed to eat that. We're supposed to use that to distract uh, monsters. Simple works. Paper aside. To my dear daughter. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of you going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this. Before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That was something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away, not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine. Of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill less a whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into that sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. That wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead of I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony, bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious. Was That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. Lona Lasso was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. 
The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, this baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess, I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought, she couldn't be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That le she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh, so. Even now I can't forget about that. But I love you. I have no doubt about that. It's all I ask you to believe. My precious daughter, Harry Mason. Uh... Gun battery, bullets, 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 ample, 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 health drink, deep joy. Will the Ducky Makara have physics? Yes, the Ducky Makara has physics. Just like, I also have physics. Woo, look at me go! E. <laughs> chew, <laughs> chew, moan. <laughs> All right, let's see. Looks like the elevator. Because the elevator is actually accessible. So that must be get to the next floor. If you write, if you write for her, why do you leave it on the band? Oh, he didn't actually. Um. I believe we got that item um, after we went to our apartment and saw that our dad was dead. I just didn't interact with it until just now because I'm kind of stupid sometimes. I'm disappointed, uh, I'm disappointed Harry didn't teach Heather the fruity back step. Hold on. Actually, that might be, uh, that might be because of our options. Because I don't have tank controls on. Let me see if I turn tank controls on. If, uh, if it changes. Nope, nope, she just walks backwards. She doesn't she doesn't do the fruity back step. Oh well. Okay, now where was the elevator? Um I'm going the wrong direction. Did he just pick up an evil baby from a random town and took it home? Well, here's the thing. They didn't know it was an evil town. They just found a baby on the side of the highway and were like, hey, we want a child. Uh, why don't we take this child? And it seems abandoned, so, you know, surely no one will mind if we take this baby. Hello, Ramon. How are you? That's how you know you're not really... That's how you know they're not related by blood. She didn't inherit his fruity back step. Um. 
broken. Those are really said free child. Well, they wanted a baby. So they thought it was a blessing. And in a bizarre way, it kind of was. Because without Harry's intervention, then uh, potentially um, Cheryl would have been reunited with Alessa and there would have been no one to stop or to help with the prevention of the birth of God or at least with killing God once he's born because that's kind of, that's more of what actually happens um, despite how it was written here is she does give birth to the God and then instead of just like straight up dying on his own you kill him well locker is closed tightly I can't seem to get it open Health drink, some perfume. There's nothing else in the locker. I mean, don't lie to me. There's some interesting looking stuff here. A handgun bullets. It's just an empty can. It's nothing important. Fashion magazine. I'm not interested right now. All babies are evil, so taking a baby that could be super evil, he's chose to raise and love it anyway. Harry is a stand-up guy. That's the thing you have to understand. Harry is a genuinely stand-up dude. Curse blessing. Nice perfume. That must be... That must really stink. <laughs> if you found it in Silent Hill, it's probably not the best perfume. Let's be real. Oh, what's this? Nail polish remover. We need to take that down to the first floor so we can get the key. Let's go do that for a moment, shall we? But first, let's try these other doors. Lock is broken. It's locked. What's this? Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Um, beef jerky. We're not going to eat the beef jerky. Beef jerky is for the dogs. You may not yet have realized it, your own true feelings. But you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue. Half of paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gate. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you, inter aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second, the second twice the third, the third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. I'm sure that's going to be very easy to figure out later. <clears throat> okay. Let's get back to the first floor. Them dogs be eating better than me. We're not going to eat anything we find in Silent Hill. None of that can be healthy for us. Please do not consume the old beef jerky from the abandoned town. To be fair, Silent Hill, it's... Silent Hill is not technically an abandoned town. It's a multi-layered haunted town. 
it's it doesn't it's a uh, it's complicated c4 it was it eddie got those pizzas so he was also throwing up in that one room so that was most likely him throwing up out of regret for having murder and not eating evil pizza they sell that stuff for twenty dollars a pack for tourists <laughs> Hey, come buy some haunted beef jerky. <clears throat> that was because of... Yeah, exactly. He was like, oh god, I killed a man. But then, as he spends more time in the town, he's slowly like, wait a minute, I love murdering people. I'm awesome. And then you have to shoot him. And there goes the one fat guy in silent... <laughs> well, we got the stairwell key, was it? Where's the stairwell at? There it is. Let's go ahead and open that stairwell. Nom nom, eat pe eating pizza after committing unspeakable atrocities. Unspeakable actions. Well, Eddie X James, they deserve each other. Yeah, it is, it is funny when you're playing the game, having like known the actual plot of the game already. Be when Harry's all like, Eddie, you can't just kill people. And it's like, yeah, Harry, you can't just. <laughs> or yeah, James, you can't just kill people. Um, let's flip that camera. Lock is broken. I love that they just used a digital slowing down of the like audio file complete with like the distortion of it like changing pitch and stuff. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was the, that was using it? <clears throat> that's not how that that's not how sound works. I know, but it's like I like it because it, it adds it adds to the creepiness, in my opinion. I like it a lot. Hey Mishadu, how you doing? All just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. Other, I will be. I will be the one who decides if there's nothing important here. We got puzzles to solve. There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall. But I can't squeeze into there, and there's no way I can move the shelf either. <clears throat> I think I remember what we have to do with this room. I remember the item that we need to find and then come back here with. That's how sound works in Silent Hill. It's our best boy. I got a submachine gun. I got the combine harvester. The lock is broken. I can't open the door. Well, that's well optimized usage of assets. You gotta give them that. It is. That's one of the things I love about these games. Like, they're on the PS2, which was already not a... It already was not a graphically powerful option in the generation that it was in. Like, that generation of consoles, the... The PS2 was not the strongest one, graphically. And yet there's so many really good games on it graphically from Japanese developers just because they were really smart about how they used it. Uh, can we interact with any of this? No, it does not appear we can. I'm low. Okay, we have not been on this floor. Can't 
They don't know how to deal with non-washing machine sounds. This hospital, it's horrible. They don't even have a janitor for the blood spills. You'd think that in a hospital, you'd need someone to clean up a lot of blood. It is a hospital after all. Okay, so that's probably where we're going to have to type in that long-ass password whenever we find out what it is. That means, at the moment, we're blocked off from the special treatment room. First of all, what's in here? Ah, save point. That's what's in here. Is there anything else? Oh. Stun gun battery, stun gun battery, health drink. Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. Righty, but nothing I would need. <clears throat> Those are still red. Someone must have been bleeding here. Yeah, it's... Silent Hill is not a great place to go to. Heather, my most sacred lover, I am always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in, your, in the way anymore. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. Hands? Don't you mean arms, sir? The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Asked that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head, not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. Okay. On that note, let's save. They have cleaning supplies but still don't clean. It's just strawberry jam. Stalker. Yeah, we got us a stalker. Then go lick the floor to see if it's jam or not. Even if it was jam, I still wouldn't lick the floor. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality toward patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. So in other words, even, even ignoring the whole being haunted bullshit, this was not a good hospital. Lock is broken. I can't open the door. Unlocked. Is it broken? What's in this one? <clears throat> Flowing freely. Your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, the great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should have never should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. 
Probably shouldn't lick the floor of a hospital that it's abandoned and haven't cleaned in centuries. Yeah. Probably shouldn't lick the floor of a hospital, period. Probably only kept in business because they were the only hospital in town. I think there's actually... A second hospital? If I remember correctly. I'm not good at memorizing the entire lore of, like, the Silent Hill. Is that all that's in here? Is just one, one bitch? One, one nurse lady? That's it? No items? No nothing? I guess that would explain why it said it unlocked. Because I don't remember having a key to it. All kind of gives off Lisa vibes. Lisa Simpson? No, Lisa Garland from the first game. We like Lisa in this household. Lisa's a good one. Eddie K, anything about the saga? What actually motivates the Silent Hill protagonist to enter in such a fucked up place like this? Well, in this game, the motivation is revenge. Because in this in this one, when you start the game, you are not even in Silent Hill. Um, when you start this one, you're in a, a another town that's kind of near Silent Hill, and your daddy gets murdered by a lady from Silent Hill, and so you're like, "All right, I'm a I'm a find that bitch and I'm a fuck her up," because you're like, "How dare you kill my dad? My dad was awesome, and your her, her dad was awesome," because. My dad was the protagonist of the first game, and he's a real swell dude, as I was saying earlier. We have so many people here. Yeah, we got a lot of people here today. I'm pretty cool with that, TBH. It's nice when we have a decent number of people here, because it makes it... Like, there's more conversation. So them just deck you in the face or ship you. Just a regular day in Britain. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never been to England. I've only ever been out of the country once, and that was to go to Japan. And I would like to go back to Japan. But that was a while ago. Uh, why not call the police? Um, There is one police officer in the first game, and she is, once again, one of the few stand-up people who you meet in the game. <clears throat> Oh, and, uh, I don't, I don't know if, uh, Douglas counts as a police officer. I know he's a private investigator. But there is technically a, a uh, there is a detective in this game, so. The spare dad. <laughs> the spare daddy. We do like Douglas, even if he is kind of clueless sometimes. He he's a good one. Oh wait, I think that's the floor we're on right now. Let me check the map. Okay, so we've been to floor one. We've been to floor. Uh oh on the second floor oh that's right i i went back to the first floor because we got the nail polish remover douglas counts as cock sleeve i do love me some douglas he, he's a cutie and to be fair even though douglas is portrayed as being kind of clueless the story i can't fully blame him given given everything that given that i don't i don't think that when you're when you're hired to find a missing teenager uh 
Uh, it's lagging. Wait, is it lagging? Oh no! Are we having technical difficulties? It looks like it's running fine on my end. I think it's running fine? But, um... You can't judge Douglas when the crazy lady in one had a magical Triforce. That is true. But, like... It's fine on my end? Okay. Okay. Seems like it's running fine. But, um... Yet again, my internet is actually good, so... Ah, uh, yay! Did my nails by the polish remover? <laughs> Because we needed to get the key off of the door, and we don't, we already did that. Um, I guess let's see. Um, but anyway, I can't really blame Douglas because when you're when you're tasked with finding a missing when you're tasked with finding a missing teenager, your first thought is not to assume that the people who hired you to find a missing teenager are doing so for nefarious reasons, you know? Because, like, ob obviously, like, you know, there's there's abuse, you know, people abuse kids and people abuse teens, so. But, like, most of the time when you're hired to find a missing teenager, it's because, like, parents are worried about their kids who, like, ran away from home or something, or, like, maybe they're maybe the kid got kidnapped maybe the kid is a victim of abuse and they're trying to get the get the the police or the um the detective to help them so i can't really blame douglas for being a little clueless it's not like your first thought is going to be oh of course it's a cult that's trying to use her to give birth to god obviously that's what's going on here okay so what do we use the perfume for But Douglas is hot, so what's the issue? Um, also that. What can we possibly use the perfume on? If I remember correctly, I do think I know what we're supposed to do um, in the basement. Can anyone remember, did we already do a puzzle that involved using a camera to take a pic, that involved using like a disposable camera or a Polaroid camera, like an old fashioned pre cell phone camera to take a picture of something um, written on a wall behind a desk or behind a shelf? We already done that? Because if not, I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to be doing in the basement. I have no memory. We should probably do another deadly chemical mix near one near our face. <laughs> Let us not do that again. That was a very stupid thing on uh, Heather's part. We're lucky she survived that. Because the only other thing I can think of is we have to figure out this fucking puzzle. And Jesus fucking Christ, I am not good at this one. Heather seems to be into that. Heather make some bad decisions sometimes but in her defense she is supposed to only be 17 years old and i don't think a lot of 17 year olds make very good decisions girl i just got here don't ask me okay but there are some people who have been here since the first stream there are some people who have been here since the first silent hill 3 stream so there are some people who might remember my man douglas needs training on signs of domestic abuse we love clueless dills here. Inhaling that as if it lives, as if your life depends on it. 17 year old mustard gas making girl. She's one of those TikTok people. She's one of those people making TikToks about cleaning your toilets and doing it wrong so long that the person calling you out ends up transitioning. Okay. Which, to be fair, if they've been doing it that long, then clearly it's not affecting their health. <laughs> First is larger than the second. 
second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Am I, am I gonna have to like write this out? Heather is a Tumblr girl is kind of obvious. Look, she predates Tumblr. I'm sorry. To she she had a live journal. This is that's where we're at. She had a fucking live journal. <clears throat> uh, do you think Heather's got Heather's got Pokemon cards? <laughs> Heather, yeah, that's the thing. Heather is probably a millennial, and when, given when this game came out, if she was 17 at the same time that this game came out, she would not have had a Tumblr. This Tumblr didn't exist yet. She would have had a live journal. TikTok new challenge, homemade mustard gas. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Does it have attempt limits? It doesn't. We can try as many times as we want. At least most, most Silent Hill puzzles are like that. Most Silent Hill puzzles will let you attempt it as many times as you want, or they will immediately kill you. And I don't think this was one of the ones that was going to immediately kill us. But it, it it also doesn't let us know how many are actually the number in the combination. Hold on, let's check the memos. Did did our stalkers say anything that would hint at how many? Um, how many digits? It's finally found. That's right. The day where you and I will meet. Always thinking of you here in the saloon cell. I never even knew your name or face up until today. But now I know you're I know you're the one I've been waiting for, and haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prize doll. I want to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. It's kind of funny. Okay, is that one? Thank you, organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with no tricks. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would that would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? But that junk, those nasty winches won't stop you. If I if a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. So why haven't you taken my doll with you? Oh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute of you, Heather. Can't let Stanley hold my hand. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, path of, path of paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name anyway. That quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. So I think it is longer than four, and I don't know how many. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Um, flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Seen glance like a feast when you smile. My 
thoughts disturbed my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. I should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Heather, my most sacred lover, I've always watched you no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a simple key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way anymore. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. He is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Stanley Hall. Except me, Stanley Hall. Um, so here we will have to do a little algebra to uncover the code. <laughs> the Diary of a Wimpy Stalker. Um, okay, I just woke up and I already forgot the password, what's algebra? I hate algebra, ew. It's a sequel to Zebra. Shouldn't you be happy about all things with that name? Who is this bitch? Nuh uh, get your dumb ass out of our minor ass. Algebra, it's all the friend, is all the friend we did along the way. Oh shit, 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 shit. I didn't mean to open it again. Um. So we do have that, but Leonard and Stanley presenting mild audiovisual hallucination, suspect mild schizophrenia, will continue observing. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice, however, according to reports, he becomes very violent when people are excited. Stanley Coleman, room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical, sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Where are my glasses now? I can actually see. Yeah, that might help. We we'll just look at algebra and smile. Um, people who are really horny for programming. I don't know. Um. I don't know. Now that we got that message from him saying something about the basement, I don't know. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure we still have to. Lou, if you want the solution, just say this is insane. Um, I don't want the whole solution. Clues are okay. Like I said, um, Baloo is baby girl. He can do it. Okay. So like I said, I, I think we have to use a camera in the basement. Am I correct about that? After the algebra stuff, they go with, so the first number can be X, Y, or Z. Also, how many digits is it? <laughs> that is something that I don't mind just straight up asking because that will make things a lot easier. How many digits is the passcode? Four. Okay, so the passcode is only four. Because the way he the way he worded it in the journal, he makes it sound like it's going to be longer than four. <clears throat> Are you in normal mode? For the puzzle difficulty, yes, I believe. I believe, if I remember correctly, I think we did puzzle difficulty normal and then uh, difficulty easy. I think. First is larger than the second, the second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Four, 
Yeah, because all the things are written as if there's more than four digits. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. And what what is one of the numbers is the final key? Can you guess? Those are the parts that are throwing me off. Clue, do algebra until you are as crazy as the people in the psych ward. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. First is larger than the second. Second, twice the third. Third smaller than the fourth, fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. So none of the numbers are repeated if it's only four digits. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. And one of the numbers is the final key. So, three are not in the top row, so that means three of the numbers are not one, two, three. One, two, or three. Two are not in the right row, so that means two of the numbers are not. Three, six, or nine. Or Doki Makro physics, please. Rah, 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 rah. Look at him go. Woo! He's my boyfriend. Four, five, seven, eight. Uh, I don't know. Let's give it a try. It's locked. Four. Five, seven, eight. Nope. Also, since it said that some of them are not in the top row, I think that some of them, three are not in the top row. I'm assuming at least one is, most likely. I think this is one of, okay. Um, all right, I'm going to say let's go. If you guys have the answer from the walkthrough, go ahead and just let me know. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that I had to look up when I played the game originally. I do think I could figure it out, but it would require me to like literally sit here with a piece of paper and write shit down. And obviously, that's not something that's going to translate to good TV. So if you guys want to just tell me the answer. <laughs> Eight six three. That's not even four. <laughs> oh, eight six three four. Okay. Eight six three four. Yeah, it's unlocked. Okay. That one of the little the little spermy boys? Nope, nope. That's a that's a nurse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute.
I think. I think this controller that I bought has button pressure sensitivity. Okay, for for those of you for those of you who have not been following for a while, um, you may not understand what I'm what I'm what I'm getting at. No, 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 no. S SBT, this is not bad. This this is good. If it turns out that this is actually, but it seems like, it seems like, it seems like I have button pressure sensitivity. <laughs> Because I bought a controller. I was like, hold on, Here, here's what you guys need to understand. Like, look at the controller on screen. I'm just, I'm just pushing the same button. I'm just pushing the X button. But, depending on how I'm pushing it, she's reacting differently. Blue, you didn't have the sensitivity? Okay, the last controller I bought, it had the button pressure sensitivity, but the button pressure sensitivity stopped working after a period of time, and I couldn't figure out how to get it working again. And I still haven't figured out how to get it working again on that controller. But this other one that I bought, which when I bought it, it was not advertised as having button pressure sensitivity. But now that I'm actually trying to like push the button with different levels of sensitivity, it does seem like it has it because she is responding differently. Like, it's not a simple on-off. Like, she's actually responding differently depending on how long I hold it for. So, that's good news. The start time is my key. Okay. There are papers scattered on the floor, something's written on them, but none of them really seem to be important. There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background unknown. Name age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed car carotid artery, carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof of corroboration of events from patient res residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Is that the only stuff I can interact with here? Okay, yeah. I think that's the only stuff. There are medical textbooks on the shelf, but none of it looks useful for now. I don't have much experience with it since I'm a Nintendo baby. I like, I've, okay, I've mostly played Nintendo consoles throughout my life, but I did play a lot of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 just because... In case you guys haven't noticed, my two favorite genres of video games are turn-based RPGs and retro survival horror. 
and the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2 were much better for those two genres than the N64 and GameCube. So for those two generations, I mostly played on PS1 and PS2. you turn off the alarm. So Baloo would love them Roblox horror games. I said retro. A weirdo just appeared in hospital grounds. <laughs> A lot of games used it so much so that next console gave up on it. I think that the PS3 technically had it, but I don't even think any of the games released on the PS3 took advantage of it. Um, so when the PS4 came out, they got rid of it. I know the 360 got rid of it as well, which is why I'm confused why it seems like this controller has it, because this is, this is an X input controller, so my computer just thinks that it's an Xbox 360 controller. So I'm surprised that it seems like it's working for some reason. Fucking scared me. Oh no, wake up babe, it's dick flattening hour. <laughs> it was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore though. That alarm clock and filthy back are his. Ah, uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I don't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love you, Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings, Stanley Coleman. Okay, my toilet is clogged. Oh no! It's horrible. The attache case is locked. Oh no. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Let's see. Oh, the stairway next to the elevator. Okay. First, let's check these other rooms. This one's not locked. Nifty. Oh, never mind. Not so nifty. All of you get back. All of you get back. I dislike you. Bad. Bad going. Excuse me, ma'am. Nothing important with the TV or the Metaris. over here. Nope. Well. Algebra killed someone, everyone in Silent Hill. I mean, that's how I felt when I took math classes when I was in school. is during doing all alone in that room a 
That's what I want to know. Because this, this Silent Hill has a lot more rooms that you go in, and then there's, like, nothing in it. Other than monsters. They were practicing their nursing. <laughs> you know, the thing nurses usually do. Beating people with lead pipes. Uh, the American healthcare system. Now. out on the third floor. Is, is it the same password for the third floor? What's up here? There's more up here I didn't know about. Probably not have opened the door before checking that thing. Oh, yep. Let's let's go back in there first. What? No. No, I missed it. What the shit? here. Doesn't look like it. You break all your bones so the bill is higher. Face with two nurses left. One says, I can fix him. The right one says, I can make him worse. The right one's the one that's being honest. Let's be real. So I'm apparently, uh, apparently I fucked that up by not interacting with his message first. It didn't show back up. Um, and it didn't give it to me in the memo, did it? No. All right. So real quick, I'll just say you can already do the puzzle. Okay. That's good to know. Um, for lore reasons, I would still like to read the message. So I'm going to see if I can look it up real quick. Um, give me one moment. Silent Hill 3 Stan Lee's Diaries. Stanley Coleman. I'm guessing it's the Staircase Diary. Ah, this one's very short anyway. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too, Stanley Coleman. So apparently that's all it was. So hopefully we didn't miss out on anything important. Now. Wait, no, shit. Go away. I don't need that. That's the literally the first puzzle we ever solved. I don't think there's really any point in going onto the roof because all that's out there is monsters. So. Going the right way? We are going the right way. Okay. 
Is it literally the same one? Or is it a different one? Is it a different one? It's not up in the notes. Lined up. I still don't know what we're doing with the perfume either. What is this for? Equip. I don't think I want to do that. Something, something tells me I don't want to. I don't want to smell pretty. I don't think I want to do that. Okay. So the only thing I can think of is go back to the basement. Do something. What that something is, I'm unsure. Why don't you make that noise at me? Oh, submachine gun bullets, that's nifty. Suspicious space in the shelf in the wall. I'm squeezing into there, and there's no way I can use the shelf. the game undo what puzzle also for some reason the live chat isn't updating for me one moment there we go for some reason it didn't update until i clicked on it time for everyone's favorite puzzle algebra back to the elevator and most important war keypad no the keypad on the second Floor. The third, or the, we did the keypad on the second floor. Pretty sure it's the same one. Okay. Um, if it's the same one, then we will go back up there. And I will type it in. Two, three. Oh, Jesus Christ, camera. Usually the Silent Hill camera doesn't mess me up that bad. It's locked. And the password was... Six three four. All right, let's see.
Oh, wait. I will always push the wrong button. Corpse tattoo. The start time is my key. Um, memo about the corpse. Mental state on Oswald Brown. Died late tonight from blood loss. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Has received no proof or corroboration of events from patient residing in the same room. Not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects. Aha. Okay. So, 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 so. So, we go to his room. It's the wrong door. Start time is my key. So, I go to his room on the second floor. And you're going to make that noise every time I go past that area. Because you're trying to spook me out. And go into his room. And we're going to check the alarm clock see what the start time is. M3. All meta, can anybody help me? Can anybody help you with what? To grow my YouTube. Um. Let's see. Is it Is it just six o'clock, like zero six zero zero? I'm sure the keypad is the same we typed the code for a while back. The guide only makes mention of that one keypad, so it's weird asking for a code again. And on top of that not being the same solution. Well, there's also this. One one three nine is what I'm going to try putting in. One one Miku number. It's unlocked. Instant camera. Woohoo. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. I accidentally turned the light off. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's right. We have to get out of here and go down the stairs. Hello, Anthony. How you doing? Mm. 
Miku is the answer for all our problems. She truly is. Wee. Let's all love Miku. <laughs> Blue clay. Full moon hasn't risen yet. There will be an eclipse. Ooh. Neat. Okay. Oh, Silent Hill. It's Silent Hill. That's about as good as Silent Hill can be. Leek, who saved us? Yay. Three eight one five. All righty. Okay. Now let's get back up there to the third floor. Um. Two, wait. Actually, hold up, now that I think about it. When was the last time we saved? Oh, well, the third floor has a save point, so I'll just do it on the third floor. I'm losing my mind, Baloo. I'm losing my mind. Wait, why are you losing your mind? Was the save point? Oh, I went past it. I'm a stupid. Go in the door. We're gonna save. If that code works on the keypad, I'll riot. I have some bad news. I think it's going to work on the keypad. Memos. Photo backside of shelf. 3815. 3. It's unlocked. It's the same camera angle and the same image for the keypad blue. What is this inception shit? <laughs> Onyx is a Japanese word. Broken. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Uh, Pokemon stream would be fun. Maybe naming the Pokemon after chat and letting them choose moves. I'll order fried wonton and dumplings. Behold, an Onyx riot. Riot time. <laughs> it's a magazine. Just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, who uh, lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. 
I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. Okay. This reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks of Hope House have to hide? During my investigation, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facility. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what that tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers fervently believe that they are among the elite chosen people on its dark and dangerous side. And to, to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it, I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Got a health drink. Got a health drink. Tissues and an alarm clock, huh? Clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. Some people here don't know what Pokemon is, like someone. So this was Nocturne. It, uh, yeah, every time <laughs> you give people the option to choose what abilities the demons end up learning, and then they end up learning really important skills. And it always gives me a panic attack when you do. Let's just say I had a brain aneurysm after that. Make it a Nuzlocke so chat can, can die. Uh, anyway, back to Silent Hill. I see a girly mag on the bed. It's not that kind of magazine. Uh, we often do a stream with him every Friday. Hell yeah. Lotion didn't exist in the 90s. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's true. Uh, I know for a fact it's not true. Not for masturbation reasons. Because uh, my mom... All my life growing up, my mom has worked in uh, factories, and so she's always used hand lotion to make sure that her hands were not chafed. So, I to know for a fact that there was, in fact, hand lotion in the 90s. We used honey back in the net. No, that would have done the exact opposite. Creepy stuff from our creepy stalker. All the doll is all torn apart. And it's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. I can take a guess. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling been able to meet you in just a little while, then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Well, you ain't getting any deader. Uh, excuse you, madam. I'm busy. You are in my way. <laughs> No, one of the gun ones is here now. How dare you? American nurses walking around with guns. Some 
pulled out the blicky. <laughs> Where is he getting all the dolls? <laughs> chat censored. I hate it here. It'll be fun as hell seeing chat learn a dumb move. Angelica tore up Cynthia. It does kind of look like Cynthia. In the old matey times, we would like to kiss each other. <laughs> and so I pull out my gun. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Boy, bad nurse, bad nurse, down, down, Claudia. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still... Is your refrigerator running? The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her. Are you one of her followers? And it looks like the bedrooms James left yep. Mar Maria in when probably I find her, asset reuse. If, I, yeah, um, I can feel two and three do use some of the same assets. Obviously, they weren't able to do that with uh, one, since Plan one was on PS1 and two and three were on PS2, so there's a I'm sorry. graphical difference, but since two and three are graphically a lot more similar, they do use some of the same assets. She killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her Whoa, that's how you speak to daughters? Um, on a similar note, uh, I just finished listening to the audiobook of I'm Glad My Mom Died by, um, Jeanette McCurdy. Where are you now? Um, her mom certainly talked to her like that a couple times. Pretty sure a lot of the Silent Hill town is reused from two. Oh yeah, that too. Please. A seal? But yeah, I I didn't really watch iCarly, but um I was familiar with iCarly because my younger sister was a fan of it. And so um, I think it was I think it was last Christmas, because I know the book is very recent, but I think last Christmas my sister, um, okay, in fairness, I can understand being a little terrible to Claudia. <laughs> um, I think it was last Christmas my sister got the book, and I was asking her about it. I was like, what kind of book is that? And she was telling me, oh, it's an autobiographical book. It's by one of the actresses who was on iCarly. Apparently her mom was really abusive, and the only reason she got into acting was because her mom forced her. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. And I just uh, just recently listened to the audiobook of it, and it is certainly very interesting. Um, she had it fucking rough. I feel bad for her. Um, daughter killing plot time <laughs> okay unfortunately i forgot 
most of what he said. So, where are we going? It's called, I'm glad my mom is dead. Something like that. It's like, I'm glad my mom is dead or I'm glad my mom died. One of those two. I can't remember the exact, I can't remember the exact name, but it's something along those lines. I'm glad my mom died, okay. But yeah, it's, it's good. I will say that she's, she's a really good writer. And um, the audiobook version that I listened to was actually end of the second floor hall. Hmm. End of the second floor hall. That is probably where we're supposed to go. I wasn't paying a lot of attention to it as a uh, message as I was responding to chat. Sometimes fuck me over a little bit. Yeah, the audiobook I listened to was actually um, her reading it. And she she's a really good writer and she she presents the book very well. wasn't here before. I remember, like, did her mom send an email calling her bad and shit and ask her for money for the record? Yeah. Her, her mom sent her an email basically calling her a whore. Uh, she found out that um, she found out that she was on vacation with a boy, and her mom was like, you little slut, how dare you? And also, please send us money for a new refrigerator. I don't have a map for this area. Well, that's too easy. Sometimes lucid dream. I I don't think I've ever lucid. Dreamt, dreamed. You're the worst, the worst. Also, the fridge ain't working. Can you like send money to fix it? <laughs> Blue being here, having a good sleeping schedule. Ha <laughs> ha, no, I, I don't. <laughs> um, I work third shift and it's pretty much impossible to have a good sleeping schedule when you work third shift because humans really aren't supposed to be. You really aren't supposed to be awake. Oh. 
high feet. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is anyway, this is the Lisa we were talking about. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. That nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in this hellish hospital room. Or in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Lisa be Lisa-ing. Wait, the save icon looks like the cursed circle Hidan draws in Naruto. Let me get that out of here. Let me get that out of here right now. Some humans work better at night and some better. This. Okay, yeah, we're in the we're in the hell version of the hospital now. Um. Oh boy. I will say. Even running this game in a, in a higher resolution and with the graphics turned up, usually when that happens, like these kind of like special visual effects tend to get like really broken and stuff. But so far, it all seems to be translating pretty well. It all seems to be working the way it's supposed to. So that's cool. That makes me happy. Does the hell version have a gift shop? I don't think anything from the gift shop in this one is anything we want. Weird blurry blurring only on the walls is a trippy effect. I like that. Yeah, like and that's how it's supposed to look too. That's not a glitch. I know with uh this one, um One of the big innovations that they found while working on this game was how to like make like, really trippy moving texture shit and so they use that a lot in this game there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling the blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below who would do this and for what it looks like a full full out bloodletting Need anything in this room, or is this just here to be spooky? I think this room is just here to be spooky. It'll be an actual hell version if we find another algebra puzzle. <laughs> Shit, we missed a door. It's so hard to tell where the doors are. Is also broken. So lock is broken. All too sexy must censor it. I don't think sexy is the right word.
sneeze. Okay, before we go through there, is there anything this way? I don't think so. so that door just straight up is not there. You must censor Baloo too in that case. No, don't censor me! hit the wrong button. Always 100% of the time. Mr. Pringles is hot, right? Um, if you say so. There's a lot more basements on this one. Anyway, we're not done exploring this one. We gotta finish. I'm anal retentive. It's the only way I can keep track of what's going on around me. Yeah, total dilf energy. It's this room. Okay. We'll be back. Won't open. What the hell? Okay. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on, but there was a pattern on the floor that now is coming into this room. And it's now, can we leave? me and it's infecting well it's infecting me in the mirror it's infecting the walls and shit there we go i want to make sure to save before we actually witness what happens in that room Broken. And that's a pit. So we can't get to that door. Oops. Button. It's unlocked. There was the room with the save point. Real quick, let's. Switch back to the lead pipe so I don't accidentally waste any ammo. Fucking past it. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna be eating a mango. of people fuck the pump <laughs> happy we were watching a big boy playing with a dill pillow on and of course it... <laughs> okay all right now that we saved we're gonna go do the thing because you can escape that room after a certain point but 
if you stay, you get a very special scene that only happens in this room. And by a very special scene, I mean it's really not all that special. Okay, anyway, so come in here. Oh, does it only happen one time? Oh, no, it's happening. Oh, but I think that I think now the visuals are glitching because I'm not seeing anything. No. it again. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. Mm. Chat horny. All right. I'm going to try something real quick. See if maybe I can get it to work properly. Right now, It's not working like it's supposed to. Okay, now we're in software rendering mode, so maybe this will make it happen. Huh. Why does she look bloodier in the reflection? That's interesting. Okay, software mode fits more silent. It does, but I also like being able to appreciate just how good the models actually are. Anyway, I think we sequence broke this room, so it's not actually playing out properly. At least that's my guess. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Blue has boob physics? Yeah, I do. Always have been. <laughs> Maybe it's just because we left and it's not supposed to do it after you leave. Where do you think th this glass of milk came from? Okay, yeah, definitely by this point we were supposed to have already died. So it must just not be working. Maybe it just does, maybe it only does it when you enter the room the first time. But basically, if you stay in the room, while that gunk is climbing all over you and going all over the walls, um, then it will end up killing you and you will die. And yeah, I agree that the, the software rendering looks more appropriate in some ways. I think it's because for some reason when I switch it to OpenGL, it removes the uh, filter over top. Other than that, I do I do genuinely like the crispier, the crisper edges. Because it lets you really appreciate that like, like even on the PS2, this is just what the models look like. They only looked chunky because the resolution was god awful. Are you all milking Baloo? Um So there was a time. Anyway. Uh. 
Oh, we have already done that long ago. Uh, in the earliest days of the channel. Okay. I think we are good for today. We will be continuing this later. I believe next week we're going to be doing some more Yakuza. I was asking uh, Kage and the others if that would be okay. So I think next week we're doing <laughs> Baloo is pro breastfeeding. <laughs> and please tell me the VOD is still on the channel. Oh, all the, all the VODs are still on the channel. Every... Every stream that I've done is still on the channel. Um, but yes, I think we're good for today. Uh, we're making some good progress, I think. And I will be happy if you guys can join me later. What's the name of that stream? I believe all of the... I believe all of the milking content came from the streams of me playing uh, Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji, Kanji Combat. I don't think any of it happened in any of the Final Fantasy X streams back then. It was all in the Kanji Combat streams. Because those, those were the two games I was streaming then. It was, uh, I was doing Final Fantasy X in Japanese and I was doing uh, Japanese to Survive Kanji chat horny for Baloo for the donkers. I mean, hold on. One moment. Oh, shit. Chat isn't showing up properly. Let me fix that one moment. There we go. I like to think it's okay for for people to appreciate them. You're gonna breastfeed us? <laughs> well, maybe like oh, it's still not showing up properly. What the hell? Nice bouncy. I don't think it's working. Oh, well. I'll fix that later. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.